Hi, so uh, today we're going to be going through the Ava X6 robot vacuum. The setup of the machine and uh, also just kind of going through the best practices and that sort of thing uh, in terms of how to best look after your machine. Alright, so first things first, we've got the instruction manual that you'll see with it. In the instruction manual, you also get a piece of paper which will take you through the setup of the Weback application so that you can obviously run the machine when you're away at the coffee shop having a good cup of coffee or something like that. So that's that piece of paper. And then, yeah, obviously this is the instructions which will actually sort of take you through the setup that I'm going to talk you through uh, today. So, yeah, in terms of the first page of this manual, it goes through uh, what exactly is inside the box. So, if I start with the machine, okay. Just one thing to note is that uh, they get shipped with the water tank attached. Most people use the dustbin container not the water tank to start off with um, and um, yeah but that's just something to expect when you get it and you sort of like well, where's the dustbin uh, I didn't actually want the mop or I mean maybe you did in fact want the mop so yeah just something to note there the other thing is when it gets shipped it does come with this uh, yellow piece of rubber in front so that's basically a, a bit of protection while it's uh, in transit you actually take that out. Okay, it's also got a protective film on top, also um, to protect it in transit, and it's also got this protective film right in the front on the bumper. Okay, now a lot of people, uh, when they first get the machine, they'll actually sort of keep the uh, top film there, that's fine. All right. Then going through the sweepers, so these are the two front sweepers that you get with this unit, okay? Just keep in mind that you've got a right and you've got a left, okay? So I'm gonna quickly take you through how you uh, install those. So I'm making sure I've got one left and one, it's also a left. Okay, so I've got a, got a left and I've got a right. Okay. What you're going to do, I normally suggest that you get a piece of a towel or something, but I know that this table is very clean, so I'm going to put it upside down there. You're going to take the right front sweeper, you're going to look uh, over here, it actually says that there's a big R. Let me see if I can show that to you, everybody. Okay, so there's a big R there, okay. So you basically put the right sweeper on your R. You can see it's a, there's like a, a block type connection shape that you're going to basically place the front sweeper into. Okay, just make sure that you push it all the way down. Okay, then you've got the left. Okay, also says left an L there so you just put in that front and you're gonna to have to apply a bit of force okay do you hear it click okay so you must make sure that they actually click in place um, otherwise the, uh, the sweepers get tangled up underneath all right so that's your front sweepers while we've got the machine turned over um, you've got your middle roller so what will basically happen is it uh, it sucks so you can imagine your floor here, it'll suck in, it'll sweep as well, okay? And then it sucks into the, the water or the dustbin container at the back here, okay? One other thing on the water tank is that this piece of microfiber cloth, okay, is stuck on the, the Velcro there, so you can take it off, clean it, and then stick it back. Alright. 
I do actually know uh, people that uh, have just kind of made their own cloth uh, and stuck it on. I cannot comment on that, I just know that it has happened. If you want to replace this front, this middle roller, okay, um, once it kind of gets clogged with uh, hair and dirt and dust, you actually, there's a two clips at the bottom here, okay, that you can unclip, all right, and then you'll take the mill roller out and you actually get one of these cleaners with the machine and you can clean it, you know, you take this little blade here, so you just take it and you're just basically are cleaning it that way, okay, all right. When you finish cleaning it, you know, just make sure uh, around the joints, obviously, uh, you know, the machine hasn't worked yet, so it's very clean. Uh, but um, just remove all the dust. Uh, there's also a nice grabber tool to sort of comb all the hairs into a position to cut them and take them, pull them out. Okay, when putting the uh, roller, the middle roller back, just make sure that you're putting it back the right way around. Okay, so check this end here is, is obviously a thicker end and you'll see underneath there's a cavity that's uh, the right shape for this specific um, end and then on this side you've got um, a sort of a thin plate and um, that will also fit directly in the other thing to note on here is that there's a square end so just look underneath here there's a square insert so you just basically put the square insert just make sure it's the right way around Okay, in terms of that it fits square into the insert and then put it back. You'll take your cover and um, so I actually had it the wrong way around. So you take it around and you'll put it back into place. All right, so that's how to uh, clean your middle roller. Then what we're going to do here, and I've explained to you how it all works. So you're going to take out your charging station okay just charging station and you're going to take out your charging plug it basically fits into the charging station on the side here okay so you're going to plug it in there okay plug this piece obviously into the wall and then you'll see if there's power coming to the charging unit there's a green light that will light up here okay what you'll do then is you'll see underneath here there's two two connection points okay and you can see the line up at the bottom here with these two connection points okay you'll just place it carefully on to the unit okay so just imagine uh, this is this is the gaze the wall make sure that always always make sure that you're charging uh, station is up against the wall. So what will happen if it's not is this robot will actually push against it and move it Okay, all right, so that's now that your units on charge. I can show you um, the rest Okay, we're gonna go into the actual Setup of the dustbin. So okay, so as we said in the beginning, it's currently got the water tank attached So we now need to prep the dustbin Okay, let's get this out here. There we go. Okay, yeah, just put it back in there. Alrighty, so here is the dustbin. I just explained to you kind of what you're looking at here. The top has got a little clip that you'll unclip if you want to re replace the, the HEPA filter. Okay, you just basically put it up there. Okay, here is your HEPA filter. You get an extra one in the box. Okay, um, this you don't wash with water. This you can rinse under the tap. Okay, so I've put the first sort of filter plate in, and then I've put the HEPA filter in, and then I've closed it up. Again. Okay, so that's just when you sort of want to clean the machine you know, once it's run for a while. Okay, other thing about this specific uh, dustbin that not a lot of people know, okay, the motor 
actually sits inside here. Okay, let's see if I can, okay. I don't know if you're gonna see it very well, but if you, when you get your unit, uh, if you look behind here, this is the, the Nidec uh, 4000 PA motor actually sits inside uh, this dustbin. This is not just a container, it does also have the motor inside it. So when people want to order a new one and they wonder why is this piece of plastic so expensive, just note that it's not just a container. All right, so, and then you've also got your, um, your connection points here. And I'm just gonna show you just, when you get to your unit, you'll see that these are two separate pieces. You're gonna have to join them together. So just look where they join. So there's one, two, there's two rounded ends on the actual connection piece. So you're gonna take it, and then you're gonna see at the bottom here, there's the two rounded pieces that you sort of fit in there. Make sure it fits nicely. And then you're gonna just make sure you clip it in. <laughs> and then my face is swimming. There we go. Just make sure that it's in place before you force it. Uh, you don't want to uh, break any of the clips. Okay, so you've clipped the bottom, and then you're just going to rotate and put it back in at the top there. Okay, so that's your dustbin that you now put together. And while we're looking at uh, the setup store, um, here is the second cloth that would come with your machine. What you're going to do now, I always, uh, the first time I start a machine, I always start it with the dustbin. Okay, so I'll take the water tank out and take the dustbin. Okay, so make sure the yellow is always on top. Okay, so if you turn it around, you'll see it doesn't work. Make sure it's fitting properly and then you'll clip it in. Okay, then just make sure because now, if you haven't read the extraction manual, what you might do is this. Okay. So it's a common mistake, but basically it's not gonna switch on until you turn the machine properly on. And there's an actual switch here. Next to the switch, there's also the charging pin. So if you, for whatever reason, don't have the charging station, you can charge the unit directly from the in the air. Okay, all right. Um, it has got a camera on front. So there's SLAM algorithm, and then there's VSLAM. Visual, simultaneous location and mapping. And so the other machines, what they do is they run on an algorithm and they basically through infrared and bumping, they'll just kind of work out a map as they go around your house, okay? Whereas this machine that uh, is using the camera, so you're not gonna see the camera on your phone, uh, but this is, the camera is obviously taking uh, imagery as it's going, and every time it bumps into something, it's working out where it bumped into something. And it pushes this information back into the, the computer uh, system, and uh, it works out where it is and what it looks like where it is. Okay, so make sure uh, it's not on. Okay, I've just turned it on. All right. Welcome use robot vacuum cleaner. Glad to serve you. Okay, that's the start. And you can see now the on button is now glowing green. Okay, when it approaches the charging station, okay, it will tell you that it's charging. Okay, if it approaches the charging station or you've placed it onto the charging station, so let me just demonstrate this, okay? If I place it now onto the charging station, right? Look where the pins are, great, da -da -da, put it in, there we go. And I put it onto the charging station, nothing. All right, it's not gonna register it because there's no power out right here. So if you haven't, issues with the power, it will automatically register, but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to quickly try to plug it in so that you can hear when it's actually connected. Alright, light screen. Charging start. There you go. So now you know that it's, it's charging properly. You're going to download the app, the WeBack app, and you're going to follow the instructions over here. 
Okay. Just, I mean, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, little sort of notes on the app. But um, basically, you're going to be scanning the QR code there. You're going to be linking to the same Wi-Fi. You're going to keep your um, cell phone close to the unit. So the unit's going to be on. It's also going to be, at a point, it's going to tell you um, to, to reset the unit so that it can start. Basically, what that means is you're going to wait for a ping. Let me turn the unit back on here. You're going to push the power button until it pings. Okay, you hear the ping? That's basically now it's ready uh, to start the pairing process. And then once you've added the machine, uh, you can schedule it to run whenever you need it to. So in the early hours of the morning, there is also support for the ABO, so on the app. So if you've got any issues there, you can also address it directly to them. So in terms of the remote, uh, you can, if you want, uh, send it at home. So there's your home button. There's to turn it on. I don't have any batteries in this, so I'm not going to demonstrate it right now. But um, if you want to do the home, that's normal cleaning. If you want to kind of control it like a remote control car, you can. That's to carry on, pause. If you want to turn up the suction power, you can. Um, that's spot cleaning, okay, and that's edge cleaning. So, right, so things to just consider when starting the machine up is that you need to let it run for a full cycle, okay? It needs to learn its surroundings to start off with. So please, when you start it, make sure that you've got enough time for it to run fully. This is normally in the region of two, three hours. So you must just let it go for two, three hours. It is also sometimes a good idea to follow it because especially in situations where it's going underneath beds. So if it goes underneath a bed, it might be fine to, go, to start going underneath the bed. And then in the middle of the bed, there's possibly an uneven spot and it gets stuck under the bed. So just be aware of that. Sometimes you can raise the, the level of the bed and that is just basically makes it a lot easier for the machine to go underneath it. Otherwise, you can lower the bed completely so that it can't even try and uh, go underneath. If there's rope lying around, these machines have got some intelligence in terms of not getting completely wound up on rope and that sort of thing. However, it's not perfect. If you've got loose carpets, let's say in the bathroom, okay, uh, it, it's going to move them around. Sometimes, depending on the carpet and how heavy it is, uh, it, will, it will push it and pull it uh, and then get stuck on it. Okay, I always suggest if you do have a mat in the bathroom that you either get quite a heavy mat um, or that you take the mat and you drape it over the bath or, or over the shower door or something like that when this machine is running. Thanks very much. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe. Enjoy. Have a good one.